you dork shelvers, uh, this is Noah here with Jake Lloyd, aka Anakin Skywalker, aka spoiler alert, Darth Vader. Um, how you doing Jake? Not too bad, how are you? Good, good. It's been a long day, it's nearing the end of it. Uh, yeah, but it's it's been fun and interesting like all the conventions are, you uh, you definitely take away some good stories. Yeah, it's getting kind of old hat for you now, eh? <laughs> uh, yes, and thank you, you were the first person in Toronto to say A, which makes me super happy. Well, I can I can work it in several more times if you want, eh? That would, yeah, that would be sweet. All right. See, the good thing is I'm asking the questions, so I can really finish them all with a A. Eh? <laughs> yep. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, um, how much do you remember? Like, you you were about ten when you got the role, right? Uh, eight actually. Eight. It must have been a pretty like drawn out or like extensive casting process. What was that like, eh? Uh, <laughs> uh I. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do this entire interview with laughing every time you ask a question that's just going to make me... Oh, come on, eh? we got to get some good stuff from you. <laughs> uh, the, the process was, uh, was, was really interesting because I... Uh, first of all, you either... It's like normally auditions are like a two-week process. You get called in on Friday, you get called back to go in and meet the director on like the, ne the end of the next week, and that's it. Uh, whereas Star Wars, I auditioned every six months for two years. So wow, I had, I knew it was gonna be long, but I had no idea that it was like. So you started when you were like four, started auditioning for Anakin. <laughs> like six. Canadians aren't so good at the math, eh? <laughs> I was. Uh, it was my nerd moment. I had to nitpick details. <laughs> um, and so, so you started off like you started auditioning when you were eight. You're saying because you didn't start filming until you were like ten. No, we started filming when we were when I was eight. Oh. And uh, started auditioning when I was six. Wow. And the film didn't come out until I was ten. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. And uh, what was like your fondest memory of the whole Star Wars experience? <laughs> it's kind of hard to narrow it down to just like one. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Natalie Portman. <laughs> she's a she's a very sweet girl. Um, I. I mean, there, there's just things like hanging out in the cafeteria and uh, talking, <laughs> talking with uh, <laughs> some, some of the British guys about grammar <laughs> and being eight year old, eight years old, and really stubborn, and just being like, "No, your is spelled this way," and then be going, "I spawned the bloody language; it was spelled this way," and uh, stuff like that. It was. Well, they may have spawned the language, but they've also had a lot longer to ruin it <laughs> than the New World has. Fair enough. I think they butcher a few words myself as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, and so now you're 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 more behind the camera these days. Yeah, actually, I'm looking to go into editing right now. I'm directing a music video. So, uh, is it like an indie band? Uh, kind of. I mean, it's it's got a lot of potential to be mainstream, but uh, it's actually just a solo artist, Mallory Lowe, and uh, she's this super cute Asian with like the it's, she sings jazz. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's. Are you based in LA? Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, I, if you want, you can always keep track of that process on my Facebook page. I keep posting that stuff all the time. Okay, so just look Jake Lloyd on, on Facebook and uh, keep up to date on all those happenings. Yep, pretty much. So, um, did you ever hear about any of like the uh, the fan cuts of uh, episode one on uh, online? Like there was like fan edits. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of those. I haven't gotten the uh, gall to go and watch them. Well, I would. I was wanted to ask if you were to cut your own, what would you change if if you got to do since you're putting on the editor hat now? If you were gonna recut uh, the Phantom Menace. I don't know. Well, I'd have to ask for the original six-hour cut. There was an original six-hour cut? Yeah. Did I, you see that? Uh, no, but if, if you ever get the chance to talk to Matthew Wood, the guy who did uh, the voice of Grievous, he was one of the first people to watch the six-hour cut and said it was mind-blowingly awesome. Really? Yeah, and uh, the thing... A, a lot of people said a lot of things when that movie first came out. Yeah, but he but six hours of, uh, of that story, he said, was just really good. Yeah. So. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be it'd definitely interesting to see that. Why did he get to see that? Is he really tight with George or something? Uh, I can't remember exactly what his job title was at the time I know he did a lot of the ADR work on the on it and that's when I first met him 
Um, but he he just like George came in, gave him a copy, and was like, "Here, sit down, have a, have a look, tell me what you think." And he was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> so you you don't have any communications with George anymore? Does he hold up in the Skywalker Ranch most of the time? Uh, no, I saw him uh, this last summer, and uh, that was that was really cool. Got to meet uh, John Stewart at the same time, and I was all starstruck. Yeah, I and mean, it was it was really cool. When you saw George this summer, were you rocking this goatee look? <laughs> no, no. Because I'm thinking he might have like you know second guest uh, shooting episode two back then. He should have waited. You got like the little like almost like Anakin going to the dark side thing over here. Yeah, I, uh, I, it just helps. I, I do what I can to not get recognized on the street. <laughs> well, it helps that there was that whole puberty phase in between, right? Like, uh, you McGregor still looks pretty much the same. He, he probably gets recognized, like. But I imagine, like, you've got like some years uh, in between, so yeah, it definitely helps. And uh, um, yeah, I, I'm very happy I went through puberty. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I had I had a very like low profile youth compared to yours, but uh, I'm also glad that people don't recognize me from my youth. Um, anyways, one more question. Uh, our website is called Dork Shelf, so everyone we interview, we ask them, uh, "What's on your dork shelf? What do you like to geek out about? What do you collect? You know, what do you show off when people come over?" Um, well, Steam. Steampunk? No. <laughs> yeah, I I am I am a big Steam user. Actually, I've. Every couple weeks on the fan page, we do a giveaway to like get more people on Steam, and uh, give away copies of Left for Dead and stuff, and uh, just so I can nerd out and play with fans, and because uh, it's it's nice to talk video games as opposed to Star Wars every once in a while with the fans. And uh, do they ever try like steer the conversation over to Star Wars? Uh, it like I'm doing now. Well, I had I I play Call of Duty with them too, but unfortunately on like you can't. Just there's no vent or uh, Skype or anything when you're doing on PS3, and so we'll get into lobbies and they'll be like, "Yeah, what was this, this, and this like?" And I'll be like, "Well, this, 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 and this," and then some guy will be like, "Uh, excuse me, you were in a uh, Star Wars? Uh, what was? Are are you are you really Anakin Skywalker?" And then he'll just completely take over the conversation and say some of the most. Intriguing things I've ever heard out of just a stranger, and uh, it's yeah. So I, I spend a lot of my time just uh, geeking out with fans and stuff if I have the time. But I I mean I am directing and stuff, so basically the weekends are us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're all, you're all finished with school now and everything, right? Uh, took some time off. I wanted to get my hands dirty before I uh, went finished it off. And uh, actually, just to backtrack a bit. Uh, that uh, that six-hour cut you were talking about earlier. Can you think of uh, any like uh, moments of yours that might have that, that like hit the cutting room floor or that you like really wished had been in there? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean one of the things I've always enjoyed about Lucas is that he he likes the beginning and the end of films. You know, with the, of the film process, he likes writing and then he loves editing. Doesn't like directing so much. Well, no, I mean we, he uh, he does. It's just when when I think of him, I I, I think of those things as just being awesome, and uh, and well, his directing's fine too. It, I, he's awesome, but it's I don't I don't second guess his edits like ever because it's it's always very intelligent. All right, well, thanks a lot, Jake. Uh, thanks for talking to us, eh? Nice. I forgot to work an A to every question, and there goes my wrist bracelet. That's uh, that's a sign. I think that my day's over. Uh, my my bracelet fell off. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right.